Hello everyone. I think we might be live. I think so, at least. And I think I am on a mountain in Kyushu, Kumamoto Prefecture. Mountain called Aso-san or Mount Aso. Um, let's hope that the LTE gods will be kind to me today. Uh, well, I'll take you on a little walk around this mountaintop area. So I arrived in Kyushu early this morning again. Uh, so this time I will be here for three more days for some work. And uh, my... Uh, uh, my uh, clients are okay with me doing a bit of a live here so uh, that's I'm very grateful for that uh, this time I won't be staying in a city <laughs> it will only be in the nature uh, around us um, from the urban life that I've been experiencing for the last couple of months so it feels really good to be out in nature again Live stream doing work, yeah, <laughs> I'm fortunate. So, um, this is my first time here as well, actually. Uh, I think I mentioned it before, but uh, Kyushu is one of those areas in Japan that I've been wanting to explore for a long time, but I never really had a chance. So, um, I'm really happy to be here. And uh, the temperature, I don't, actually don't have my second... Uh, phone with me so I can't do the the usual weather check but uh, it's comfortable I'm wearing uh, jeans today and it's actually like borderline too hot for that jeans and t-shirt I kind of wish I was wearing just shorts yeah it, this uh, kind of reminds me of the old was it the Windows XP <laughs> default wallpaper this uh, network may not be good, but I think that's a cell tower over there. So uh, hopefully we will be okay. Ah, thank you, Toto, for checking. <laughs> that's actually when I saw the tower, I was like, oh, okay, maybe I can stream here. <laughs> Really beautiful, really comfortable weather. <laughs> I might have jinxed it, yeah. Oh, thank you, Michael. Thank you very much. Yeah, maybe I spoke too soon about the network. I think it's okay now, right? Lycka till på mötet, Joel. Okej, okay, nu. You can't. Shield 
just able to block out the wind sound, but It is. Yes, so this is a volcanic uh, caldera place you will see soon. Uh, yeah, we drove up here. So I'm with the, with the client as we speak actually. Uh, I'm not sure how to get here if there's any public transpo transportation. Should be like some sort of bus or something but uh, nature um, you would be amazed the number of national parks in this country is like really high actually and there's lots of things to to see um, so it's uh, yeah Japan is way more than just urban landscapes and crowded cities that's for sure guys we get up go up here we should reach the kind of highest lookout point let's see there's a little map here um, so yeah as it says here Mount also consists of five peaks uh, reflection reveal maybe <laughs> uh, the view from the peaks here is likened to a Buddha lying down to die yeah so that's the kind of famous view that I will show you quite soon so we are here and here is the famous Buddha so that's the Buddha's face body and legs I guess around here you will see it soon
complaining that the stream died again really looks uh, like it should be fine to me I'm still here great 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 So here you can see that's the face, body, legs. Oh, stream died again. I get very mixed messages right now. I guess I should change the channel name because there will be a lot of videos from far far away from Tokyo in the coming months um, so um, but I hope you're okay with that even if the channel is called Tokyo Explorer Japan Explorer, yeah. Oh, it's a pretty nice place. kilometers no more maybe someone in the chat can look it up the distance from Mount Aso to uh, to Tokyo but I'm basically in the opposite side of the country higher mountain but yeah it's believed to have exploded several tens of thousands of years ago and uh, formed the landscape below so it's pretty cool like all these um, all these um, fields you see down here that's actually in the middle of a volcano and there's actually I don't know if you can see it but there's a little bit of smoke coming out of the from the mountain here on the other side um, so Obviously the mountain is still active, uh, but I don't think there's been any major eruptions here in, in modern times. Uh, so yeah, someone asked again if I'm here for tourism, but no, I'm, I'm here for work. So I'm working right now actually, just taking a little bit of a break to do this live stream. Yeah, 
think I will head back towards where I uh, where I came from. But yeah, basically you can travel all the way to Fukuoka uh, by Shinkansen if you want to. Uh, that's a train ride that takes uh, four and a half hours, I think, or something like that. Yeah, weather's great. I'm so happy we didn't go here last week when, when it was like pouring rain uh, during my time in Kyushu. This is... There's not that much else I can show you. Uh, like I can't really walk. Basically it's, it's this lookout point and then that little parking where I started the stream and that's pretty much it. Unless I would, you know, venture down on my own down one of these slopes, but um, I'm not going to be that adventurous today. <laughs> Is it cheaper by... Oh, thank you, Shubati Rumale. Always so generous. Thank you. Um, Is it cheaper by train or plane? Plane, usually to take the train is uh, I think 20 25,000 yen if you want to take the Shinkansen all the way from Tokyo to Fukuoka it's quite expensive maybe even more than that maybe even more than 25,000 yen if you fly you can usually if you have a bit of flexibility you can fly, find uh, flights for less than that maybe even as cheap as half of that So, uh, flying is cheaper and way quicker. Even though I'm, I'm the kind of person who usually don't mind a few hours extra travel time, but going by train because I think the train is much more convenient. Um, but um, especially, actually flying domestically in Japan is super convenient. So, and also the client insisted that I would fly, that I should fly this time. So this ne, Fukuoka Kara Tokyo Modotte, Mata Kyushu. So this ne, Mika Kan Dake, Tokyo Ni Modori Mashta, Mata Kyushu, Mika Kan. So Shite Rai Getsu, Mata Kyushu Ni Ikimas. Tari Kitari this ne. So one of my Japanese viewers asked me about um, uh, asked me about if I'm did you really go back to Tokyo and then now you're back in Kyushu again and uh, yeah that's the case. Shikoku uh, do you know the altitude of the place? I do not know. Um, it does not snow here in winter. Uh, I asked about that and it's very rare to have snow in this uh, part of Kyushu, apparently. Shinkansen is half the price. Aren't you mixing it up now? That plane is half the price compared to Shinkansen. Um, would have the 
answers to all your questions. Yes, plane is half the, uh, the price. You, you said uh, initially uh, that Shinkansen was half the, was, uh, was, uh, half the price, so I got confused. But yeah, plane is, is quicker. Plane is quicker and cheaper. It's beautiful here, really, really, and especially considering that I've been in Tokyo so much lately, it's really nice to come out and see this kind of wide open landscapes. That's something I've been craving for a long time. も最高ですね。そうですね。本当に気持ちいい。Yes, this is a volcanic mountain. ここでバイク走りたいな。そうですね。この辺バイク走るのが気持ちよさそうですね。Similar to some place in Sweden? Oh, I don't think so. I don't think we don't have any volcanoes in Sweden, so we don't really have this kind of of landscapes um, back in Sweden. No. Right. Combination of both uh, these kind of landscapes and some urban colors is is nice, right? I think so too. Tomorrow we are going on a, I think, six-hour hike uh, in some other parts of this uh, this mountain. So um, hopefully um, I can try to do a stream then as well. I think trying to stream at night around here will be very difficult because the place we're supposed to st we're staying at tonight there's like nothing around it, so it will be pitch black. So. Um, I might try, like if, if there's a little bit of color, uh, I might try doing a evening walk as well. But um, uh, yeah, for now this will do. Ah, did you get your camera? No, I didn't get any any other camera or lens. I was looking, but uh, I didn't find anything suitable. So I'm actually tra traveling a bit lighter than usual uh, this time. I'm relying mostly on my. Uh, 24 to 70 lens as well as the 85 mil. I do have a wide angle with me as well but I doubt that I will have that much uh, use for that. No we're not camping but we're staying at a place which is pretty low fi <laughs> I'm not even expecting there to be 
mobile phone reception or Wi-Fi or anything like that either so that's why I, I wasn't sure if I would be able to stream today but since I when I saw this tower when we arrived here I I uh, thought like okay let's see let's see if we can do that yeah I mean wide angle lenses are kind of limited use if you ask me at least super wide um, 24 to 70 is like really convenient and then the 85 is good when I kind of want to isolate something lenses are really yeah in most cases I feel that they're all I need uh, there's a bit there's some like monkey show here but I'm not gonna film that because that guy has like tons of signs saying no photography so at the parking where I started out so I think I will wrap things up around here oh no someone someone was very unlucky thanks for joining me today and uh, I will try to stream again tomorrow maybe tonight if, uh, if the facilities are able to support a live stream we'll see anyway thanks a lot and uh, see you all soon bye bye sayonara arigatou gozaimasu